Going into this video, I thought that if we were a more successful and significantly larger outlet, then we would probably do things like clickbait titles. An example would be, are hard drive companies lying to you? And I think that's what we're talking about today, but not quite that extreme because the answer to that is mostly no. Marketing is always kind of lying, but what are you going to do? Uh, so the question here is from Zero on the Discord chat for our Patreon backers. Zero said, what's the difference between a gigabyte and a gigabyte, which I think he meant gigabyte, and why does Windows represent them incorrectly? So we're going to go into that today. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by Thermaltake and their Contac Silent 12 air cooler. It's about a $25 cooler, competes with the Hyper 212, but is newer, finally, and has AM4 mounting support. So getting into the content, I'm joined by Patrick Stone. Hey. Who just spent the last bit doing some numbers for this video. Uh, I like yeah. crunching numbers. Yeah. It's a very fun thing to do. Yeah. So what's, I, I guess the, we can do the short answer. Well, let's, let's expl explain the question first. Sure. Right. So what is, uh, what's your interpretation of this question? Right, so what I'm hearing is the person wants to know, hey, I've seen these two different representations of uh, w what they, uh, believe is a storage measurement, what do they mean? Right. So we're going to try and break that down for you guys. Yeah, so in Windows, uh, to give you an example, if you go buy a one terabyte hard drive today and you plug it in, as many of you know, I'm sure, it will show up as... 931 gigabytes. Right, which is, where did that number come from? Not the same. Yeah. So with SSDs, if you're not familiar, SSDs are a bit different than what we're talking about today. With an SSD, you might have over-provisioning yep. space. Not to be confused with what we're talking about here. Right. So you buy a 256 gigabyte SSD. Maybe it shows up as 240. That's generally over provisioning. They tend to be about 7%. Not talking about that. Uh, so then the, the short answer to this, one terabyte versus 931 gigabytes, it's because of using decimal versus binary units, I suppose, Yeah. for measuring the hard drive capacity. Uh, Different so numbering systems to represent the data, which right. is not very consistent. Or yeah. useful for the user. Right. <laughs> so do you want to do you want to dive into uh, what decimal and binary are in this context? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Yeah. So uh, decimal just means base ten. Uh, deci, you know, is is usually associated with ten, and so base ten means you got ten to whatever power. So like ten to the first power is just going to be, you know, ten. Ten to the zero power is going to be one, uh, and it, ten to the uh, in this, like, let's say 10 to the third power is 1,000, which they're going to say is a kilo. Um, and then binary is a little different there. Binary means base 2. So you got 2 to whatever power. 2 to the 1 is going to be 2. 2 to the 0 is going to be 1. Uh, but then if you look at 2 to the 10th power, that's 1,024. And here's where the confusion comes in. Are we talking about 1,024 or are we talking about 1,000? Right. Which unit of measurement are we dealing with? And that's where, where the decimal versus binary confusion comes in. Let's see if we can figure it out. Right. So drives, the hard drives are advertised as using decimal format generally. One terabyte, that's a, a decimal format number. 500 gigabytes, two terabytes. Right. They're easy to say. I like that. <laughs> Windows uh, uses a binary format, which do we know sp uh, explicitly why that is? Uh, no, we don't know I why didn't, Windows I didn't chose it. Yeah, Mi Microsoft, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a, an actual reason, but um, let's go through some of the, the two different sort of uh, organizations here. SI, mm -hmm, yeah. some of the units. What was the other one? Yeah, so SI and then IEC. Yeah, and um, th really the, the problem is that there are just so many different standards organizations, and each of them decides, hey, let's do it this way. Uh, th there is an agreed upon rule and basically the idea is if it's data measurement, we're going to try and use base two stuff. However, the hard drive manufacturers have decided, let's not do that. And so we're not sure exactly why that is. Maybe we could get a hold of like Seagate or Western Digital right. or somebody and they, they could answer that for us. Right. Because um, that would kind of make the world easier and a better place to live in. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey. So Solving global crises, <laughs> starting with binary versus decimal. How the, how far we have fallen. Uh, right, so difference of hard drive vendors and Windows basically is, is the short answer of this. Yep. Uh, if we go into the longer answer, I think we should probably define more units first. 
you may have seen MIB, GIB as a unit of measurement. Yeah. Not T I B. Uh, right. So these the I is important here. It's not just it's not just like a different spelling of M B or G B. Yeah, exactly. So if you're looking at M I B, that's Mebby bit. If you're looking at G I B, that's Gebby bit. G Gebby or Gibby? G Gibby. Gibby. There you go. Yeah. Uh, pronunciations, right? But the the point is, if you have that little the lowercase I in between a capital M and a capital B or a capital G and a capital B, that little lowercase i, that means you're dealing with a uh, binary system, not a decimal system. Uh, if you have the capital M and the capital B, or the capital G and the capital B, you might be dealing with binary, you might be dealing with decimal. Depends upon what you're looking at. But the, the thing that you can depend upon is if you see the little i, you see the little i, then it's a binary system, binary uh, right. standard numbering. Right, so one, Gigabyte, mm -hmm. as funny as it sounds, it's the real measurement. One gigabyte is equal to one binary gigabyte. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, uh, or I guess, ten twenty-four megabytes. Right. There you go. One binary gigabyte, ten twenty-four mega megabytes. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> if, if you're going to start saying the 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 I measurements, then you got to stick with the I measurements. Right. So yeah, 1024 gigabytes. Uh, you got the idea. Basically, it roughly comes down to one binary gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes uh, is equal to roughly 1074 megabytes, the unit that we're generally familiar with. That sounds about right. That sounds about <laughs> I think, right. I think I did the math before we did the video. Yeah. I'll have to double check. Um, okay, so uh, let's let's run through it. Let's use a 500 gigabyte drive as an example and just do some calculations here. Do you want to take it away? Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll put some stuff down here on the page for you so that it makes more sense and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So it's like this, right? So let's say you're looking at, you go to the store and you buy a 500 gigabyte drive, right? So you're looking at 500 gigabytes, right? And this is what it says on the drive. It just says 500 gigabytes. But then you're like, wait a minute. Why does my Windows show that I have 465 gigabytes all of a sudden? And the truth is, you need to do some unit conversion. Like, you don't want gigabytes. You want to find out what it is in gigabytes. So here comes some unit conversion for you guys, okay? So if I don't want gigabytes, I got to figure out how to get, get rid of gigabytes. So I know that one gigabyte is the same thing as one, mil, one billion, one billion bytes. So that's 10 to the ninth, okay, 10 to the ninth bytes. So that looks like this right here, okay? And what's going to happen is this gigabyte right here, that guy is going to cross out with that guy right there. So now we got bytes, which is, that's good. Bytes is good. Starting place. Yeah, and so, so now, but bytes is not quite what I want. I want, I want gigabytes. So now I'm going to say, okay, well, how can I go from bytes to gigabytes? Well, that's pretty simple. I know that uh, uh, t 2 to the 30th power, and you can look this up on tables, like not hard to find, 2 to the 30th power bytes is 1 gigabyte, G-I-B. So it looks like this right here. 2 to the 30th power bytes is 1 gigabyte. And look at what happens here now. So I got some more unit cancellation. I got, bam, that guy's gone, go away. This guy's gone, go away. And now I'm left with, only thing over here, this guy right here. That's beautiful. That's what I want. <laughs> Give me bytes right there. Okay, so just doing the math here, now we're going to do 500 times a billion divided by 2 to the 30th, which is a big number. Yes. So we're going to punch that on the calculator over here. Just got 500. We're going to times that by a billion or 10 to the 9th. And then divide that by uh, two raised to the thirtieth power, and uh, Steve's doing some some Google math. Yeah, Google's a wonderful thing. Top of my head, yeah. It, <laughs> Four, so we get a, a funny looking number, right? Four six five dot, and then a big uh, decimal. That actually is significant. All those points mm -hmm. as we found out. So it's dot six six one two eight seven three zero eight. If you care, uh, and then what? Specific. What, what is the significance of that number? That, uh, that looks like what we see in Windows. Exactly. Yeah. So, so n now you're seeing when Windows reports you got 465 gigabytes, what they actually mean is 465 gigabytes. Right. 
and um, 465 gigabyte Gibby bytes is the same thing as a drive manufacturer's advertised 500 gigabytes. So we're, we're just showing you guys the relationship and even though it appears to be confusing, the math does work out. You can prove it mathematically. And so when you see Windows advertise 465 Gibby bytes, actually Windows says 465 gigabytes, it actually does mean 500 billion bytes. Right. Right. And so we just want you guys to know that if you're paying for 500 billion <laughs> bytes, you're getting 500 <laughs> billion bytes. Yeah, the, the, the bytes are there. Uh, it doesn't vanish. It's not like they're just rounding up. Uh, they exist. True. It's just a, uh, how is it calculated? What unit are you using to get the number 500 gigabytes versus Windows, which I think Windows rounds down as well. This, yeah. Like we found out. Well, yeah, and we were thinking about, like, what, why is it that way? And the only thing we came up with was, okay, well, if you paid for something, like, let's say you paid for 466 Gibby bytes, but then you only got 465, you'd be kind of upset. But if you paid for 465 and then got 465.6, you'd be like, hey, I just got a free 0.6. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Yeah. Um, and uh, also, also if, you, if you're really like, trying to dig down into this stuff, if you go into Windows Explorer and you right-click on your drive, the one that says 465 gigabytes, if you look at the properties of the drive, you should see 500 billion bytes available. I think right. that's how it works, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like a little screen cap and you'll see that. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets a bit more extreme too, of course, as you go up in size. So one terabyte, it looks a lot worse. Now you're losing about 70 gigabytes and losing, of course, air quotes there. Yeah. As we've just explained. Uh, so, you know, two terabytes looks even worse still. Um, so that's why that happens. I know it's kind of a basic topic in terms of not something that impacts your daily builds or anything. But it's an interesting one, and I, I think this uh, puts some of the numbers behind it so that yeah, everyone can visualize it better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, rest assured, you're not being cheated. Everyone's just Who confused. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe. Everyone is out to get you. <laughs> We're paid by big hard drive Trust companies no one. to tell you this. We're shills of the remaining hard drive vendors as they desperately fight off the SSD. <laughs> Uh, this is getting very dark. So yeah. thank you for watching. <laughs> As always, subscribe for more. Patreon.com slash GamersNext. If you want to help us out directly, S at the end of that, GamersNexus. And uh, this question came from a Discord user. We have a Discord chat there, which you get access to once you back us on Patreon. Thank you, Zero, for the question. We'll see you next time. Hey, what do you guys think about the view of like looking at the camera versus looking at the person? <laughs>